From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Today we're going to talk about the Northwest Ordinance and the significance of the democratic ideals established therein. The Northwest Ordinance guaranteed rights to the people, such as freedom of religion and the right to a trial by jury. Education would be encouraged and Indians would be treated in good faith. The Northwest Ordinance also banned slavery in the Northwest Territory. The Northwest Ordinance also established a three-step plan for admitting states from the Northwest Territory, like Ohio, to the United States. First, Congress would appoint a group of leaders to govern people in the territory. Within minimum population, the people part of the territory could elect political leaders to govern them. When the population of the district was large enough, it could be admitted as a state, like Ohio was in 1803. Political leaders in Ohio wrote Ohio's first constitution, so Ohio could become a state. Ohio's constitution was modeled after the U.S. Constitution. Some land from the Northwest Territory was granted to Revolutionary War veterans as compensation for their service. From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Metter, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Thank you for watching.